everybody, me and Dean back at you with another video today. And today I'm bringing you another installment in our Extravagant and Excellent series. If you, like me, don't mind spending an extra little couple bucks on a nice bottle of wine from time to time, I hope this series might help you get the good most bang for your buck. If you're going to spend money, spend it wisely and get some good stuff for you. Uh, so today we're going to have one that I expect can be very good, because this winery is very good. This is Kilcina Creek from Washington State, 2012 Galaxine Vineyard Cab Sol. Um There's like 97% of this comes from that vineyard and 3% from another one. Uh, this vineyard did Red Mountain. A lot of uh, Kilcina Creek's wines come from the Columbia Valley. This, one's, this is the one from the Red Mountain um, area of Washington. And it's a highly rated wine, as all their wines are. It's one of our favorite Washington producers, no question about that. 2012, uh, it's been decanting in just 15 or 20 minutes. It probably could use even more, but it's already a decade old, so let's dive right in and see what it's like. Mm. Oh, oh, mm, mm. Okay, so, right off the bat, big, huge, brambly black, black fruit, blackberry, cassis, boysenberry. Uh, hint of licorice. A uh, tiny bit of smoke. Black plum, I think, in there too. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh man. Yeah, these guys never disappoint. Um, blackberry, boysenberry, cassis, licorice. A lot of the same characteristics as the nose. Um, like there's some like charred meat in there, um, like, like like a yeah grilled charred charred meat charcuterie type of thing, and like there's an earthy quality and a, a lot of minerals. Um, earthy quality, kind of like almost like I said charred meat, but it also could be like charred earth, like um, like earth after a forest fire. Sounds terrible, but. Um, but it's just, there's a, a combination there of earthiness and smokiness that kind of almost makes me, makes me feel like fire, um, which is a strange thing to say about a wine tasting, but yeah, and it's not, I'm not, it's not smoke tanked or anything like that. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, really long finish. Um, tannins are medium plus. Like this, at 11 years old, this is drinking beautifully, but this could go another decade or two um, and still be absolutely delightful. That is, mm, that is wonderful. I would give that 95 points. That is a beautiful bottle of wine. It's $115 US for the winery. At least it was at the time. It might even be a little more than that now. Um, so, and it's not cheap. But, um, of course, this series, everything in this series is 50 bucks or more. Uh, Canadian normally is the benchmark before taxes. This one obviously quite a bit more than that, but it's worth every penny. Um, it is just gorgeous. Um, I don't think I have any more of these in my cellar, unfortunately, uh, but I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this one. And uh, let's see what's next. Okay, wine number two is one that meets our price criteria, but not by a whole lot. It's one of the cheaper wines I've quite uh, featured on this channel, uh, $55 US. I guess that's not that cheap, yeah, compared to Canadian. 55 US in the winery. Um, if you have watched this channel at all, or read my blog or anything, you know how much we love Hartford wine, uh, Hartford Family Winery or Hartford Court. Um, sometimes it's it called either one of them. So this one says Hartford Family Winery. Sometimes there's a little, little logo up here that says Hartford Court. I'm not sure what the discrepancy is on which is which, but anyway, it's the same winery and they're great wines. So we love this winery. They make the most amazing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay um, that we've ever had, I think, from California consistently. Um, and they also make amazing Zinfandel. And they also make a Syrah, just one. Um, I've only had this once. I had the 2012 vintage quite a while ago and liked it. This is 2015. Outer Limits Vineyard, 2015 Syrah from Hartford Family Winery from the Sonoma Coast. So 55 bucks from the winery. It's the same price as it was I just checked the, the website to see if the price has gone up. It hasn't, it's still $55. It's probably the cheapest wine they have. Um, I think it's probably the cheapest wine on, on their menu or close anyway. 
they're not known for Syrah, but um, the first one I liked, I liked, I was stunned how good it was, in fact. So let's see what we got here. Mmm. Wow, that's uh, rich, intense, uh, blackberry, and uh, tobacco leaf, and uh, mushroom truffle, maybe. Um, Cassis. Little white pepper. A uh, little fresh dill. All right, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh. So I, I um, aerated and decanted this. It's been decanting for, I don't know, 20 minutes-ish. Um, it's still a big boy. It was 10, it's 2015, so we're talking eight years now. Sonoma Coast Syrah. Uh, while I keep going, if you like this video, please do me a favor and give it a like on YouTube right now. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It helps the channel out a ton. Um, what I was just going to say was, it, it, you know, I don't know a ton about Sonoma Coast Syrah. I know that there's a lot of it down there that people really love. I don't get a lot of it. This is maybe the second bottle I've ever had. Maybe not, but I haven't had a lot of it. Um, do you like Syrah from Sonoma Coast in California? Have you had a lot of it? Leave a comment if you have. I'd be interested to see how many of my viewers are more familiar with this than I am, which will be most of you, I suspect. Oh, so, yeah, that's it's lovely. It's a... Uh, blackberry, blueberry, um, tobacco, Cassis, um, yeah, oh, we're trying to let it, see how long it finishes for, but that's a medium plus to long finish, um, and a little black pepper shows up there at the end, um, well, more than a little bit of black pepper, actually, peppery finish, oh, that's lovely, that's just a lot of lovely wine. Mm, yeah. There's an herbaceousness there too, like uh, some dried herbs. Thyme, rosemary maybe? Not rosemary, thyme and sage. Mm, anyway, that is delicious wine. Um, and so on the back it mentions, our outer limit vineyard Syrah comes from an estate vineyard located on a windswept ridge top, very close to the Pacific Ocean. Doesn't that sound lovely? Well, it's got tasting notes. Black fruit, blonde tobacco. Blonde tobacco? What the heck is blonde tobacco? And lilac aromas. Lilac. I don't get a whole lot of florality there, and I really don't think I know what lilacs smell like, but I wouldn't go there. Oh, the tobacco's clearly blonde, though. The blonde tobacco. Okay, leave a comment below if you know what blonde tobacco is. I, I think I described it as tobacco leaf. It's a little uh, leafy, so I would go with that. Bright blackberry and black currant flavors and tannins that express the wine's mountaintop sourcing. Dense and spicy Syrah was crafted in a style reminiscent of the great wines of the Northern Rhone. Yeah, so I agree with almost all that uh, for the lilacs and blonde tobacco part. Um, and there's a Quite a bit of spice, uh, pepper, um, not baking spice, pepper. Mm. Yeah, that is, that's lovely, just really lovely. Um, I would give that 92 points, might even deserve a 92 plus, because I, I think it probably could use a couple a couple hour to count. We'll see if it gets better. Uh, we're gonna go enjoy watching this while we're watching some TV today on our relaxing day off. Um, and uh, let's see what's next. All right, let's finish up with a white. We did a couple of reds this video. Let's finish up. Let's go across the ocean to Bordeaux, shall we? Oh, 2017 Chateau Olivier, Pessac Leonien, region of Bordeaux. Oh, nothing like good white Bordeaux. Well, I get a lot of pineapple there. Oh, tropical, tropical, tropical. Guava, like uh, almost like an underripe mango type of thing. Papaya. Mm. 
Looks like a hint of like a, a pink grapefruit, maybe? White, white grapefruit? I don't know. Grapefruit? Mmm. Lovely nose. Really nice. Alright, let's see. Mm. Yeah, give it a second, but yeah, that's nice. Mm. All the tropical fruits. Um, and lemon, like a lot of lemon. Uh, for, you know, high acidity, let's add you respect from a good Bordeaux. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's lovely. Mm. Man, I love good white Bordeaux. So, yeah, uh, lots of, uh, on the mid palate, the, the lemon that kind of hits you right up front, kind of gives way a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of uh, um, mango, guava, papaya. Kind of missing the pineapple to get in the nose. The, the nose, a lot of pineapple there, but on the palate. But that's lovely. Um, and I like pineapple better than I like. If I'm going to eat tropical fruit, it's going to be pineapple. I'm not a huge fan of eating mango. Or, well, I don't like mango at all. The pies and guavas are. You know, what a take a leave. Take a leave, but I love pineapple. Mm. Yeah, acidity's high. As it should be. Medium plus to long finish. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful wine. Uh, this one um, just gets over our threshold for the extravagant and excellent series. Um, and it is absolutely delicious. I'm going to rate that 93 points. That is a beautiful white Bordeaux at this price. Of course, you can spend a lot more than this on, on white Bordeaux. Um, and I have a couple in there that are even but two or three times as much as this one is. Um, and, but this for for the price, this is a real steal. So so this is uh, this is probably when you can find any BC liquor store. I bet you can find this like, all across the country, all across the world, wherever you're watching this from. This shouldn't be tough to find. Uh, Chateau Olivier is a it's a well known uh, house, and they are usually easy to find. So I highly recommend you go out and get this one. Uh, this is 2017, and you probably can still find this on BC liquor store shelves. Maybe 18. Um, you know, it, it, they are a few years behind. So. Yeah, that is beautiful. What a, what a beautiful... Well, I'm going to enjoy drinking this one. Maybe I'll let the wife have some. Yeah. No promises. All right. So those are three good wines. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of those three. They're just delicious. Uh, highly recommend all three of them. Um, so please, uh, if you like this video, give it a like. Give it a, a subscribe to the channel, please. And um, ne my next video... This is video 94. So we're only six videos away from the big one. The big 100 where I'm going to retake... Uh, the Master Sommelier exam, the tasting portion of it, of course. Um, and if you have been watching the video all along, you know I crash and burn huge on the first attempt at video number 50. Uh, hopefully I get a little better than this, uh, a little better this time than that one. I, it couldn't be any worse. It just couldn't. I, I, outside of not getting the white or red part right, I don't know how I could have done any worse. Uh, so that's coming up soon and actually my first rosé video of the year is like about one wine away i'm right about there so i wouldn't be surprised if that gets posted the next day or so so stay tuned for that and if those of you like to watch to read my blog rather than watch the vlog and you are still watching this um i'm getting close to the 10 year anniversary of my wine blog so i'm going to try to do something special there i don't know what that is yet but i'll try to do something interesting anyway that's it for tonight until next time drink great wine see you soon